The dusty deserts of the Sahara, both harsh and beautiful. As wetlands and rivers continue to be destroyed, making water more scarce, one of the driest places on earth remains a model of good water use. In Algeria, the Osis of Ouled Said, Arabic for children of Said, is a centre of date production in northern Africa. Since the Middle Ages, techniques for oasis management have been handed down from generation to generation. Like splotches of green among sand and rock, oases support the food and water needs of thousands of people. In Ulud Said, a complex system of underground channels allows water to flow within the oasis. It's an ancestral system called Fagara, born of the need to survive. This is a kasriya, like a cookie cutter, creating channels of water coming out of the holes. The holes correspond to the water needs of families living around the oasis. Ulad Said's honeymoon as a protected wetland under the Ramsar Convention lasted four months. It was then under such threat from wind erosion that it was put on the Convention's Montreux record, an endangered list for wetlands. Not even an ancient fagara, effective in water use, can guard against billowing winds in the desert. Sand dunes edge ever closer, smothering the Sahara's source of liquid life. This site fait part of a series Ouled Said is part of a series of newly designated sites, promoting an understanding about different types of wetlands which are underrepresented. We think this site contributes a lot to the network of wetlands that we want to create. Ouled Said is an oasis and the second in the world to be designated for protection under the Convention. To safeguard water, food and income, WWF, the Algerian Forestry Division and local people have started to restore wetland oases. Conditions are harsh here and everyone has their own role. One part of WWF's work is to support the growing of plants that withstand dry conditions. In the years to come, some will make important natural windshields. About 100 varieties of dates are grown here in the Ouled Said Oasis network. It's a booming business and an important source of revenue in such an isolated place. The money made from dates doesn't match the $20 billion earned each year through oil. But people can't drink oil, and they know that wetlands are the precious source of water, a finite resource. Beneficiaries of oases and their traditional management can be found further away too. Birds migrating from Europe to Africa find these Algerian wetlands the perfect pit stop after a weary trip across the Mediterranean Sea. Century after century, a million grains of sand tease the air and threaten precious pools of water in the world's second driest continent. Wetlands like Ouled Said are an island refuge in a vast ocean. They show that with traditional knowledge, wisdom and will, wetlands can continue to be our wellspring.